What's up guys, LEGO Panic Customs here, back again with another showcase for you guys, and this time around I got another Marvel Cinematic Movie Showcase, and this time is my LEGO Custom Spider-Man Homecoming figures. As you can see, total of 6 figures, and they were made in a span of 1 month, every week I dedicated myself to make each figure, and I don't regret it, I made a lot of hard work on these figures and they came out spectacular and I think so far these are my best figures so far I know I say that with my other figures but honestly these are one of, one of a kind figures for me not around the world or anything but anyways um we got Spider-Man Spider-Man homemade suit Iron Man Ned Leeds Shocker and the Vulture so, like I said, these figures were made in the span of one month, and I know some of them may not be so accurate. Well, that's because, um, um, especially for Shocker and for Spider-Man Homemade Suit, just to let you know. And, um, because those two figures, a lot of, um, toys and leaks and stuff, and there was no determination of which one was real, especially for Shocker. Because for Spider-Man Homemade Suit, there's like a two versions of the legends the legends toy and the uh, hot toys i think they're a little bit different if i'm a, if i'm uh right um i think there's another toy also which is different as well but there's like three versions of the homemade suit for merchandise and i just went for the legends one i believe when it first came out so that's if, it, if the same was a little bit inaccurate that's because of the the toy but anyways uh, before we start the showcase, I want to let you guys know, I want you guys to let you know three things. Number one, like I said, Shocker. Some of you might have seen the movie already, and um, please don't spoil anything. But um, last year, there were some set photos leaked, quote-unquote, and they're said to be faked. I made a figure of that leaked set photo, but I decided to just throw it away because it wasn't real, it was fake. And then there was a toy release like a two months ago of Shocker, and that's what I went for because it was first an official, Le official, uh, Lego, official Marvel merchandise toy, and it was Marvel. So I could say that I was real, a toy. So I don't know if this is a suit that he wears in a film, but if you know, don't say anything in the comments because I'm gonna go watch it tomorrow probably. Um, probably, but no, I'm not sure yet, but anyways, my second thing I want to say is I want to give a shout out to Blinkbird Customs for, um, Ned, Le Ned Leeds' head, um, face, that's actually a Star Wars, uh, face, if you didn't know, and he used that face, and I kind of see that it worked for Ned Leeds, or Ned Leeds, or whatever, Ned Leeds, and my second, and my third thing I want to say is that I want to give a shout out to my buddy in, in, uh, Instagram, TNF Customs, uh, for helping me with Iron Man, he helped me a lot with the shoulders and stuff, and the torso, so the props to him, and yeah, for not further ado, let's get right into the showcase. Alright, so here we have, um, my Spider-Man Homecoming suit, or Civil War suit, or a Tony Stark suit, um, so basically, this figure was uh, really good to make, and it was really fun to make as well. Um, it was very complicated as well as um, in the part of the uh, arms, and also the legs were also a little bit, a little bit just hard. But the most complicated part I could say is the arms. But before we go with the arms, I'm going to show you the torso. That this is a uh, Really, really cool how it came out. Um, I like how the back of torso, the symbol, I know it's not accurate enough, but I, at least I tried, and I could, and I just tried, so there you go. That's the final result. Um, then in the front, it's amazing. I just love it, how it came out, and the size of the torso, and in front, the, the webbing and stuff looks really good. The legs also are really, really good as well. Um, the webbing and the lines go all, and they're attached to every single part of the suit, as you can see. Um, then it goes all around the legs as well, and I like that. I love that. I like that, and I love that um, about the suit. Um, so the arms, like I said, was really complicated, in my opinion, um, because I had to get them really, really straight. And if it focuses for me, um, so let me just try to get focused there. 
it is very very hard to make spider-man arms because the webbing is really complicated but i had tried it and i did it and i did what i could so there you go um and then you can see the webbing on behind the um torso or beneath the the mask and yeah that came out really really good um so this figure is like I said, really good. The head, of course, is still the same from the Spider-Man Civil War sets and Homecoming sets, so that's no difference. The only thing I could say also I added to this is um, the sculpted spider symbol in his chest. So that's cool. Um, I continued that same thing as I did in my previous versions of this suit. Um, also, you might be saying, like, Panda, didn't I say Little Maniac do that? Yeah, he did. Um, he said that he might be the first one to do it, but I think I'm the first one. I'm not saying that, that he's stupid or anything, but I'm just saying that I, as far as I know, when I made mine, Homecoming suit, I was the first one to add a sculpted uh, symbol on his chest. But whatever. Um, but yeah. And if you don't believe me, go ahead and go watch my 1.2k viewed video of Spider-Man Homecoming, which is terrible, terrible Homecoming suit. I agree with some people that in their comments, I agree with them. Um, but yeah, um, that's the th take on the suit, and let me just let you know that it goes all around the suit, so that's a really, really nice feature about this uh, custom I made. So, yeah, um, also the web shooters are just, uh, like, glove tops, so they're not ordered. I made it myself, so let me just tell you how I made these things. Um, if we grab a minifig head, so, in the top of the minifig, like this part right here, I just cut it out and I just stick it to the arms, so I think it works really good, but otherwise, this figure is really, really good, and I love this figure, so let me know what your thoughts are about this figure in the comments, so yeah, let me know, and let's go ahead with the, um, homemade suit. Alright, so here is our Spider-Man Homecoming homemade suit that Peter Parker will be using in the movie as it is shown in the trailer. So as you can see, this figure is officially based off of the Marvel Legends figure. So it might not be so accurate as the Hot Toys or the trailers, but it is based from the um, Legends figure. So... Yeah, all I did is, uh, this is a red head, just sand it off so it can look a little bit more, I guess, sandy, <laughs> I don't know. The eyes or the goggles are sculpted, I added, uh, black as the base color and then white on top. I made a little bit, uh, matte expression and probably I didn't do it right, but I tried. And then the line in between as to show that's a mask. Um... Then, in the front of the torso, which is this part here, it is a sculpted uh, part, and it simulates the jacket and stuff, and the, the little zipper, or the little thing that you pull the jacket with, it's, uh, it's silver right there, and the little, um, little strings here are, um, 100% fabric, they're just strings there, and I just put red strings with, a. Uh, Painted it with a little bit of uh, black in the end of each string. And the symbol I know might not be accurate, but I really don't care about this. So I just left it like that. I think it looks really good. Um, then the part here, the pockets, I just did dark red. Um, the hoodie on the back is sculpted um, just to simulate that he's wearing a hoodie as well. And the legs here are just uh, red and black. All around and then on top of that you have e-tape as you can see right there so it goes all around the body and then the hands or the arm area I just added a little bit of red dark red and flesh color to both sides of the arms or the hands as I say um, and then the web shooters are just um, same process as I did with the um, Spider-Man, um, Tony Stark suit, I did the same process, I cut out a top of a figure's head and painted it black and silver, just to show a little bit of, like, the web shooter and stuff, so overall, I really like this figure, it came out really clean, I'm very proud of this figure, as much as the, all these figures in the showcase, but, uh, let me know what you guys think about this figure, and let's go ahead with Iron Man, alright, so here we have Iron Man, so, um, I'm not sure which 
suit is this? Because there's a bunch of suits. I only know till like Mark 46 or Mark 45, I'm not sure. Um, but I haven't kept up with the suits, so I don't know. I'll just call this Spider-Man Homecoming suit. So here's the Spider-Man Homecoming Iron Man suit that he will be wearing in the film. Um, as you can see, this is 100% painted. In a hundred percent, I think, in eighty-five percent silver entirely, the figure. So as you can see, the helmet. All I did is I repainted it as it is in the trailers and the hot toy figures. Um, so I did the lines there. If you can see a little bit of gold right there in the top of the helmet, if you can see. Let me just focus there. You can see there are like a little two lines of gold. I added that because in the previous helmet of this one or this guy. It had like little lines in that part, so I just covered it with gold. And then underneath that, um, of course, you got a Tony Stark head. I'm not sure if that's the if he's gonna be wearing the suit, but as far as I know, the Tony Stark head is always inside a Iron Man. Um, then in the side of the helmet, you see a little bit of silver right over here, so that's really neat on both sides as well. In the back of the helmet, there's a little bit of silver right there. Uh, I'm not sure you can see it, but there's a silver right there in, behind the helmet. Um, then the torso is just painted in um, silver with the blue as the arc reactor in gold in the sides. Then lines is simply like the armor texture. And then it goes all the way down to the legs. Then there's a little bit of gold there and continuous of gold and uh, silver. In sides of the... Of the um, Legs, you can also see a little bit of lines there, silver, and you can see the other side as well. Then the legs, it goes all around as well, the silver, and then on top of that, you see here more stuff. The blue lights simulate like the LEDs that he has in his suit, so if you're wondering what was that, and um, you can get a little bit of hair here. Um, and then over here, you got um, some a little bit of arms. Yeah, a little bit of lines there. And I want to give a shout out to TNF Customs, like I said at the beginning of the showcase, um, for helping with the arm area, those little tops here. So if they don't look that good, I'm sorry. I just tried my best. He tried to explain me as best as he could. And this is what I got. So thanks to him um, for doing helping me out. So yeah, that's it for Iron Man. And let's go ahead with um, Net Leeds. Alright, so here we have Net Leeds. And I want to give a shout out to... Wait, uh, Bring back uh, Link Brick Customs, of course, for the base of the head, which is the uh, Star Wars Freemaker minifigure head. I'm not sure which one, which character, but that's I think that's what it's from. Um, but anyway, shout out to him. All links to what all his social media will be in the description below. So um, all I did to this face is I uh, erased the eyebrows and I added my own eyebrows there. Um, black eyebrows because I think he had like dark brown or light brown, I'm not sure, but I erased that. Then this hair is a normal minifig hair, just cut down in the sides. Um, so that's really neat. So just to make him a little bit short hair. Then, um, I added a little jacket here with some uh white stripes or white stripe here. I'm not sure what to call it. That goes all around his uh, body, of course. Then the torso itself, I just did a little bit of uh, painting here. The lines seem like the little texture of his clothing and stuff. And the edges and stuff. And then the middle part is the, the drawing that he has in his shirt. And the jeans are just dark blue pants with a little bit of uh, dark brown as the shoes. And the light baby blue, uh, blue um, is to represent the inside of the... Um, jeans if you know and if you wear jeans you should know that inside there's like a little bit of uh strings that are like like very light blue so that's what it represents and i left him with some dark arms and that's it overall this is a very basic figure very easy to make it's one of, uh, one of the easiest and um yeah um so this is net shout out to bring back customs for helping me out and let's go ahead with the uh, villains which is next shocker all right so this dude i know may, many of you might have seen the film already and i get that but please don't spoil anything from the film about, about this character in particular because there's been a lot of things going on with this character because it was announced that he will be in the film then suppose uh set photos were leaked 
those were debunked and they were fake. I did make a figure based off that uh, leaked set photo. So I kind of threw that away because um, I thought that, well, I mean, nobody's going to believe it or something. It's going to be inaccurate. I want something that's accurate. So like a few months later after that leak, there was a toy that they released uh, or was leaked as well. And it is official, um, but it is not the suit that he will be wearing, according to some people. So, I don't know. I just went for the design that that uh, it is official. So, the toy was official, so I just went for that. So, I'm not sure if he will be wearing this film or this suit in the film. I don't know at all. According to some people, it's different. I don't know. Um, but if you do know, let, don't spoil it, please. So, yeah. Overall, let's go ahead with this figure. Um, I sanded the face because it was a yellow Lego City face, and I added a little bit of texture there, like to simulate the mask. Then I added a little bit of silver to simulate the goggles or the glasses that he wears in the toy. And then um, I added a little uh, backpack there because in the toy, you can see behind it that he wears a backpack of some sort. Um, so I sculpted that, and I added a little bit of backpack texture right there. If you can see the, the process and stuff I'm not sure if you can see the texture right here in the backpack so if you can if I can focus a little bit more you could see a little bit of texture a little bit so I added that the arms are just uh sculpted arms which simulate the little gauntlets that he wears to blast the spider-man stuff and then the arms are just uh, left and like that I know he has like a little bit of uh, texture stuff um, of the suit, but I kind of left him like that. I didn't really find it necessary And all I did is just add a little bit of black on top of that And then the torso itself is just a plain black torso painted with a little bit of orange and then the front of that I added a little bit of silver because he has like this strap this metal strap that goes around his body I didn't want to continue that in the torso behind because I kind of was lazy So I just sculpted a backpack to just cover the back of the torso and then the legs, um, they're just metal or just silver legs, just paints a little bit there. Yeah, because he ha he kind of has the same design as Vulture's legs. Um, but yeah, then inside of that we have a little bit of gold and stripes. So yeah, pretty basic figure as well. Very easy to make, but very complicated to what should I go for. And I'm very happy with the result. With the result. So yeah. Let's go with our final figure, which is the Vulture. Alright, so here we have the Vulture, and I did show this figure a few months back. It was really good, but I decided to make it a little bit more better. So, um, let me just tell you the basics of this figure first. So, the, the wings, as you can see, are just paper. Just, uh, um, gray paper. Just painted with a little bit of green and stuff, and the lines and stuff. And then if you go to the back, sorry for the lens and stuff, um, and then you see a little bit dark uh, green, and then the little tur turbines that he has, and a little bit of blue to seem like the, the power or the fire that goes out. Um, so yeah, the helmet itself is a Boba Fett helmet, sanded off completely, and I kind of tried to sand it off as much as I could, and that's all I got. And then I painted a little bit of silver or gunmetal gray on top of that. The eyes are um, in front. They're actually E-tape right here. This area right here in front is E-tape. And then I just um, painted a little bit of dark or, um, yeah, dark green, I guess, to simulate the eyes and stuff. And then silver in front of the helmet as well to show the beak and stuff. Then you have a little sculpted tube that goes all around the mask. And beneath this helmet... Batman or Michael Keaton So I think this fit this face fits really good to Michael Keaton I'm not sure about you, but this face I this face I find it really 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 accurate in my opinion I just saw it in my collection say why not this could fit so I added that and I left it that way um, And then the little fur part um, It's like a little bit of a uh, what's it called um This weird thing it's actually um What's it called? Ah, I forgot. Vinyl clothing or something I, I found. Um, it was like a little piece of uh, fabric, of vinyl fabric. Um, so I just cut that out and uh, glued it and around and stuff. It's actually attached to the wings. So I'll show you that in a bit. And then the arms and the torso 
The arms are just a little bit of shiny, I think, a little bit of a dark brown, shiny, weird gun metal type of, I don't know. Um, it's folk art. Um, it's some dark brown, um, shiny paint that I found that I thought would be look really good. And then the torso, you see a little bit of e tape that simply the straps, and then the buckles right here in front are gold. Um... So, yeah, I kind of like said, like, why not add 3D elements to all my figures? Well, some, because Spider-Man, um, chest part has, uh, sculpted or 3D. My shocker, backpack, and the gauntlets are 3D. So why not add something 3D to this dude? So I added the tube and the buckles and as well as the, um, the belt to there. So you can see there. And then the little side parts, I'm not sure what they are, like knee pads or something I saw in the Marvel Legends figure. So yeah, they have a little bit of gold and gray lines going to the legs. And then sculpted little here um, things just to look like the legs, I don't know. The claws itself are just batarangs. So they're silver batarangs from the BVS sets. I cut them out and I just glued them in. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so let me just show you anything uh, behind the torso so that I can just grab him for a second and take off the head because it is kind of difficult, especially the helmet part and the claws itself are really difficult. So you can see there and e tape still. So, yeah. And the silver goes all around his legs as well. So that's nothing big or anything. And you can see the yellow uh, line that goes in his torso. That's simply like the the zipper of his jacket. So that's really cool. Um, but you can see here it's uh, glued in the furry part. for Not furries. Just the little cloth that I found. So yeah, overall I love Vulture how it came out. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this dude, but I really love how this dude came out But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and wrap up with this showcase. All right guys. So thank you very much for watching this video um, I know these figures might not be so accurate to the film itself But please don't post any spoilers in the comments because I haven't seen the film and I know that the shocker situation uh, might be concerning I mean, regarding the look of the character in the film. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this showcase. Um, follow, Make sure to follow all my social media, um, Twitter, Flickr, and Instagram. All links in the description below. As well, go follow my uh, friends, uh, TNF Customs and Blink Break Customs for helping me out. I mean, more so in um, TNF Customs because he helped me. And Blink Break Customs just gave me an idea of the base for Net Leeds head. But anyways, um, all links to their social media in the description below. And yeah, guys, give a like. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Give a like, give a thumbs up, show support. Leave in the comments what you guys think about this showcase and each character itself. So yeah, guys, and thank you very much for watching and see you next showcase.